Welcome back to the channel guys, and today I'm back with some more uh, the Dying Light 2 from the Who else would want him dead? <clears throat> Fuck no. Lucas was a real And right now I'm in the middle of helping one of the guards or first I gotta talk to Hakon I, got, I was talking to one of the guards and uh We're, we're helping them find the killer of their leader. Bring them to justice. They're dead than forever. You know what ticked him off like that? He wants to be in charge, but there ain't no- Peter wants me to find Lucas's <coughs> murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? <laughs> and headstrong. She's... you'll see. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker.
Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not a I'm sheep. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. I gotta get better at lying if I'm gonna lie to him. 
Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Mm-hmm. Apparently, you can't go through the tunnel either. Aider's keeping us prisoners in our own homes. Faces today? There are reasons to go. He's developed this compound with mushrooms and the leaves. Of some <laughs> Found some powdered milk in the old, in the old school. school. Five years ago. Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Man, I don't want to end up drinking my own pee. So... I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Water runs out. Seriously, there's no time for delay. PK and civilian alike. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. But why? 
Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Sayonara, mother... Like so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. W what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See? He's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... Uh, a... Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. 
If it's not strong enough, come round to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal. Maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Get off my ass, get off my ass, get off my ass. Let's revive it, Don. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know. We're careful, people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. 
Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Let's haul him in, boys. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> How did you die? God, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job. Scouting. It's my job. Maybe Carl knows something. No, wait, don't. Look. They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me. They have my brother. That's no reason. You're complicit. Carl's gonna hear about this. You idiot. You don't understand. If you do this, they'll kill my brother. I can't let that happen. I feel your pain, but this is wrong. You can't gamble innocent lives away just to get him back. You're through, Damien. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Stay down. Stay down. Don't get up. Told you not to get up. I told him not to get up. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of a city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Man, did they rough you up? So who'd kill you? A little. The Someone worst thing was they took all the equipment. You, wanted you could not do it before they did. Don't discreetly kill a military. Back in the day, I had a oh, I was right and left. Well, and a workshop, that you? Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. It's about the only time I smile. I She does, and she's against it. I invite you to Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother, huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. 
A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. Step right up, my boy. Find something you like in the bazaar? All right, let's go after these crystals. People seem to like him. Not the one who killed him, I bet. I met Lucas several times. Prefer the PK? Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition... He's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. It seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy.
help. Please. We need help. What happened? <sighs> Some infected attacked us. Tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. <sighs> if we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. All right, I'll do what I can. That was a lot of dead in there. Climb up, yeah, very carefully. Okay, that's a completely new safe zone that was just built around this. It's not what I wanted to do. Inhibitor container detected. In the warehouse. Why? The one in the box looks cracked. It tends to happen every now and then. My roof is leaking. If it rains again, my place will flood. Always reason for me to 
fix it and keep what little I got. Dude! I saw you climbing up that thing! You got the move, man! Yeah, the turbine is the sister got some weird tapes oh, inside God, of the Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You had to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Sophie, Zayden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man, I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney, that's Kojak, one of ours, Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. <coughs> Fuck's sake. How much does the ship weigh? <laughs> <laughs> Barney, are you? Hey, Sophie sent me.
Barney, open up. Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Your sister is worried about you. But it's true! Barney, I'll count to three. One. Great. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Is there a way out through up here?
blood. Oh. Must be birdies. Trail should lead me to him. But he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Took out all those fuckers. Best birthday ever. Sixteen years old. <coughs> Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta... Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him, and I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Oh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? He just died. <sighs> Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. To the bazaar. I'll explain everything.
nothing but trouble. Maybe it'd be better for Sophie if he didn't come back. All right, let's talk to Sophie. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think, but we have to listen to him, Herman. That's for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides, but on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. 
Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video right here and I'll see y'all in the next one.